Okay, we're going to get ready to do the initial calibration of the electronics and make sure the motors are spinning in the right direction. To make that simpler, I just put a little piece of tape around, hanging off. That way I can tell like a little flap which way it's going. Yeah. Go ahead and turn that on. Make sure all the switches are forward, down. We're ready there. Plug the USB into the LED module, your USB cable. And then plug in whichever LiPo you're going to be running. We're using a 4 cell 6000 milliamp. Give it close to 20 minutes flight time. Okay, that's going to boot up. Now we're going to go and download, uh, actually download all this stuff before. I'll put it in the links. I'll put some download links for you guys underneath the video description for the DJI NASA Assistant. And then for the NASA manual and the 550 build manual, I'll put that in the description. So once you got that all downloaded, you'll go ahead and open up your DJI NASA Assistant. The first time you do this, you're going to have to register your email and create a password. That way it'll let you log into it. So make sure you're doing this with an internet connection. If you try to do this in the field, you're not going to be able to get it going. So once that comes up and you got that all registered, you can click skip. Is go and make sure you have the right motor mixer selected. Right now we're on hexa. That's correct. Shows you the motor directions. Even numbers go clockwise, odd numbers counterclockwise. Then we're going to get into transmitter calibration. Right here, once you have everything bound, go ahead and click start. And then you're going to go in the full range of motion of your controller. Get those all good. Your gear switch should operate your modes. Right here it's falling in between. You see it's highlighting the A and the M. If that's not, go into your travel adjustments. Mine's set up on gear switch and you'll notice it's on the A right now. If I move that, it'll come out of position and it's not uh, set up correctly. So you want to set your endpoint adjustment so that it highlights the A and then set it on your other one so that it highlights the M. That lets you know that it's properly set. Now my 11X, I have my X1 and X2 set up to control gains. So I have two different slider switches that I use those for. That's all set up correctly. Once you get it done, you'll click finish. Last thing, make sure you have your cutoff type set to immediately. That means when you lower the throttle stick to the end, it's going to shut the motors off. And then for a receiver type, if it's flashing and it says receiver problem, make sure you have traditional receiver selected. I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And then I'm going to click write. Writes it to the NASA. So now everything, center stick, is green, full throttle. Everything's going the right direction. If it's not going in the right direction, use your reverse or normal tabs right here. Go into your autopilot. I'm going to set up the X1, as you see right here, for the attitude gain. I set one slider switch up. Stock is about 120, so I'll put it right about there. And then for my other slider switch, I will set that up on X2. The only ones I deal with are the pitch and roll. You can do the yaw too, and it'll set them all up to control them at the same time. So now you see that that's going. Center position, center stick is pretty much the stock position for that. Gimbal controls. If you're using your gimbal, this is where you control your gains. And the final thing you want to make sure you get done is your voltage. I set mine on 4S. Make sure that's correct. And this sets your first level of protection. It'll start blinking yellow, the LED at 14.7 volts, and that's under load. And then your second level is where it goes into automatic landing, and that's at 14.1. So that's all correct right now. Again, right and we should be good to go ahead and start testing the motor direction. If you got everything set up properly down left and down right, we'll activate the motors. 
and the same thing to shut them off. So we want to check this motor right here. This is number one. It's odd, so it should be going counterclockwise. And it's going clockwise. So we're going to flip that over. And we're just going to reverse two of these wires here. Okay, those are good. So now we're going to go ahead and install the props. Same thing, put the props on according to the uh, motors. Odd numbers are going counterclockwise and even numbers are going clockwise. Went ahead and put the props on according to you know the motor numbers, odds being counterclockwise and evens being clockwise. So there it is, it's ready to go. We're gonna take it out and test fly it. Okay, so now we're ready for the first test flight. Turn your transmitter on first, make sure all your switches are down and forward, and then I set my gear switch up on for attitude mode. You might see the LED underneath, that's normal. And then in the bottom is attitude. So you'll go down left on the throttle, down right on the collective, and that'll arm your motors. It's in attitude mode, so you're gonna to wanna to raise it up, get it up to the altitude you want, and then center stick's gonna hover in that position. If you wanna raise up, just go a little bit above center on the throttle, same thing to descend. So here we go. Very stable. 